Oh, hi. Um, how's it going? DottieXE here. I'm doing a basic drum tutorial for you guys today. Um, first of all, you need uh, Ableton, which is my um, preference. And um, this is this tutorial is going to be for the less experienced. So if you're looking for like how to make ridiculous space drops and all that fun shit that's going to come later so sit tight for all that this is just going to be basic drums and um how to basically set them up and i'm going to go over just like the small details that no one really i, I see a lot of people uh making dubstep and whatnot and they don't really take into account that it's all the little details that actually make a difference so okay first of all what you're gonna do is you need to make sure that you have a MIDI tr uh, MIDI channel now um, with your MIDI channel you're gonna drag over a drum rack from your instruments and your instruments are gonna be in um, your uh, live device browser right here and you're gonna see drum rack and then all you gotta do is pull it over to your channel here I already have one, so, and this is gonna come up down here. Now, what you're gonna see is um, what looks like if you've ever been to um, a guitar center, or you know someone who has a studio, or maybe you own, own one yourself, a uh, drum rack. I mean, a uh, it's gonna look like a beat pad, and basically, um, this kind of is. See um, here. Each each um, pad here just represents a key on the um, piano roll, and the piano roll is down here, by the way. So for your channel, you're gonna see the piano roll. And here, I I drag um, your samples. What you're gonna have to do in Ableton is set up your files, your folders, which is really easy if you've ever used any DAW, Fruity Loops, etc. What I like about Ableton is you get three three folders. And I, it makes it easy to separate them. So I mean, like one one folder I'll keep m my drums. And this one I'll have open with like um, that uh, wave samples that I like to keep handy. And this one I'll just have like I don't know vocals or something. So just so I have them ready. Um, so what you do is you you have to first of all you have to get have the right samples and what i suggest is look up uh, vengeance they have any sample you could possibly need for any style of music at least electronic dance music that you're going to need okay now what i'm suggesting here is get um a punchy kick drum it's I mean basically every kick drum you find is gonna have some punch to it but make sure it has a not like like a little tail at the end but just punchy enough and I this is how I have my setup I use bass drum a ride cymbal um, a little click I'll get into that later crash and I always use two I always use um two drum uh snares. A open hi hat and a closed hi hat. Now here's the fun part. You um to get um this this is gonna be where you keep your channels. So this is just kinda like an overlook, like where you adjust your volumes, your pans, etc. And this is where you actually arrange those tracks. Now, what I this is my way of doing it. I bet there's another way. I don't even know how, but what I do is I have it selected. I hit Control Copy, and this is how it's gonna look for you guys. And I hit Control V, so paste. And um, I don't know why I figured out that way. That's just the way I figured out to do it. I don't know. There's probably like a more a way that you're supposed to do it, but that's just how I've always done it. I don't know. Whatever. All right, now basically, I have one measure right now, so one, two, three, four. I'm in 140 uh, BPM, by the way, and the BPM is right here in the top left. And 140 is kind of like the standard for dubstep, 
even though I hate the th like I don't like the idea of it uh, dubstep automatically think 140 like I like some some dubstep is like 145 150 so you I mean don't feel like you need to always make your dubstep 140 um here's um so your here's your piano is going to come up down here and think of it as just the same way as um you doing notes for um a synthesizer so it's just going to go as the bar goes so so obviously it's kind of like a standard that th that the bass drum comes on the first beat so that's what we have right now it's just the bass drum and by the way the repeat what you're going to want to do when working on drums definitely is have your repeat right here. Have one measure selected with this right here and have this button right here on repeat. So you can just keep having it go round and round and you can keep fucking with it because that's how I always do my tracks is I have it repeating and I just screw with it as it goes until I finally like how it sounds. So now with dubstep, 140 tempo is not what it sounds like. 140 t tempo, but dubstep is actually half time. Or you could say it's 70 tempo, but it's usually just known as 140. Now, with it in the half time, the snare, instead of it coming on the second beat, which is how most music goes with a four, four bar measure, or four beats per measure, it's actually come, gonna come on the third beat. So here we have one, two, one, two, three. Okay. So it how I'll do it with the metronome. Okay. Now what I see a lot of producers doing is um they uh they'll do make their drums really basic. Like I'll hear a bass drop and it and it'll sound like basically like this. Like that's all the drums they'll have and you need to you really need to add a lot more to it. So, here, this is what I suggest doing. Use your closed hi-hats and make it so it fills in the, the, the space between your kick drum and your snare. So, so you get something like this. And don't be afraid, you know, just mess around with the lengths of everything. It just gives it... I mean, obviously, I've been using Ableton for like years now, so I'm I'm used to it. But I mean, just never be afraid to fuck around with shit. <laughs> that's like the most. That's the best advice I can give you. Now, um, what I, what I like to do also with filling in those um um hats, filling in the closed tie hats in between the snare and the drum. I always like to put a ride symbol. You've probably noticed it in my songs. Um, let me find it. Oh, Jesus. Ride symbol on every beat. So it goes like this. So. It just makes it sound faster than it really is. Because with dubstep being half time, you have to make the beat sound like it's fast. And you don't want it to sound slow. So you're going to have to put in a lot of like shit just going crazy in between the really slow bass. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so basically this right here is going to is what's going to fill in everything. Now what I like to do with my snares is layer them. Gives them more body. So So I have two snare drums going right now. This and this. And what you can do to take it a step further is put a crash symbol on top of your snares so it adds a tail. So instead of going it go it has like a nice crash, like a nice But what I actually recommend is putting a reverb, and I'm gonna get into that right now. Your reverb is gonna be in the same spot that you found your um your your drum rack in. And here's your reverb right here. Reverb is in audio effects. That's where you're gonna find all the fun shit to fuck around with. 
And you're, what you need to do, now this is critical, for audio effects, you need to drag the reverb onto the exact wave file. Now, if you drag it onto the whole thing, like this, it's going to reverb everything. So listen. You don't want that. You want to drag it to your the snare drum right here. So you boom and drag it to the snare. And when you do that, now I have a, a nice reverb on my snare drum. So listen. So nice it gives like a nice clash. Just like adds more body to the overall beat. Um what I can suggest to do even more is what I like to do is um add a click right on top of my bass drums. It it really adds like a lot of punch to it like it might be hard to tell but I mean in overall I always add like a nice like just a little click on my bass drums and um that open hat an open hi-hat and that's basically it I mean that's it's takes hours of effing around and all that fucking around. I don't know why I'm saying effing, but um I mean this is this this is like the most basic tutorial I'm gonna do. So I mean um my next one I might get into I'm probably gonna get into either pads um or creating wobbles or doing like growl th growl synths like Skrillex excision y or noisia sounding feed me. Um or how I make specific sounds on my tracks, for instance, um, my horsey remix, uh, what else, what else, what else, my weekends remix, like that Skrillexy growl type sound, I'll get into that, but this is going to be the most basic tutorial, um, I'm going to try and answer all your guys' questions, I'm going to read the comments and um, answer them there, but I mean, doing the drums is definitely going to be the easiest part of of producing without a doubt the drums and getting them organized is easy the getting your bases and compressing limiters like EQing that's going to be the tough stuff that I'm going to try and get into so just sit tight for all that but um yeah i mean this is about as easy as i could put it all um can't really think of much more to add but um I'm going to suggest though that if you guys are wondering where did I get my sounds from in the first place which I'm sure someone is wondering all look up vengeance um sounds they're going to they have everything you can possibly think of as far as wave sounds go and samples kick drums snares hi hats and and all that shit um, Dead Mouse had made a sample with uh, sample pack with Steve Duda called Xfer, which I have too, and that's like a lot of good for electro house. But I also put that in my dubstep music, and um, yeah, um, leave comments if you have any um, questions. If there's something that I see a lot of people are wondering, then I'll try and address it. And, get everything uh, straightened out and help you guys out as much as I can but um, overall I would suggest I'm I know a lot of people don't use Ableton but if you are looking to merge over to Ableton then hopefully you found this helpful because I know a lot of people who use Fruity Loops will message me and say oh I got Ableton I don't know what the fuck's going on help me <laughs> this is so different and all that shit so I mean yeah I mean I came from Fruity Loops too and Ableton is a fucking pain in the dick to get used to so I mean hopefully you guys at least learned how to put drums down and how to get this no joke for me to learn how to get this shit right here to here took me like three days and all you have to do is select it click it control copy control paste like I didn't even it took me three days to figure that out so I'm hoping <laughs> you guys at least learned that because you guys that means you guys ha had it easier than I had had it and that's all I want is to make sure you guys learn this shit faster than I did so um, yeah again leave a comment um, 
And I'm um, more to come. I'm gonna be doing, let's see, uh, bases, synths, everything. So just leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what I didn't go over, and I'll try to clear it up. Later, dudes.